and we're back here with another review with Total Toy Recon. Wow, today we are dealing with the man, the myth, the legend, Admiral Akbar. This is the Star Wars Milestone Return of the Jedi 1-6 scale statue. This is from Gentle Giant and Diamond Select Toys. This currently retails for $250. I do recommend shopping local, ordering directly from your comic book store, um, probably something they're, they're, they're gonna carry. I just feel like this would be, you know, it's Admiral frickin' Akbar. We're gonna, definitely gonna carry him. We get a side view shot here. Um, this, this picture on the back is fantastic. This is limited edition of 1,000 of these. Um, you know, obviously we're gonna open him up, see what he looks like. Is it as cool? I think this falls into, it's better that it's a creature, a monster, a masked character, than it is, or actor, masked actor, than it is just a straight up face of, is that Harrison Ford? Is that Mark Hamill? Is that Carrie Fisher? Um, we have varying levels of success, um, but we're going to open up Admiral Akbar right now and see how cool he really is or isn't. Let's, let's, let's throw a little shade just in case it, that he isn't. So let's find out. Okay, so before we get too far into it, I wanted to show you exactly how he's packed. So we do have loose arms, uh, oh, sorry, I shouldn't say arms, loose hands. We have loose hands here. Um, I was not aware on the box that there is a variant hand. So there is a different hand. I don't know why I didn't see it, but if you turn it to the one side, which I did not reveal, there's a different hand. So we're going to get into that. Um, I did want to show you that we did have our letter of authenticity here before we take him out of the plastic. We are at 170. That's a really low number. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got, we got, in the, we're in, a, we're in under 200. Woohoo! Okay, so we're going to put him together here now. You can't really see him. He's just, as you see the tip of his nose right there, but we are going to put him together here. So we have this base that has uh, 170 out of 1,000. And it's a little base, just like, you know, it's the uh, Mont Calamari ship. So we're going to take Admiral Akbar here, but before we really get into it here, let's, let's show off his head. So great color on the eyes here. And then we do have, let me give you a front view look. Awesome. We have a great control pad right here. All kinds of great details. Love that. I love the fact that you can actually see his hand closed. And we see the, the, the webbing between the fingers and such. Here are danger points. And I'm going to point this out. When I took him out and I set him down on my countertop. And this isn't hard either. This is, these broke. So I have these little tiny, tiny pieces. I don't even know if I can show them to you. They're falling through the cracks of my fingers. They are the spikes here. These broke off as soon as I took them out of the styrofoam and put them down. So that's your danger point. Be very careful when you take them out. I just took them out and set them down, and they and they broke right off. These are so fragile. Be very. I mean, you're barely going to notice it, but these are super fragile. It's almost as if these little tendrils up here would have broken off. So let's let's put them on the base. Now he's got one foot up. And his foot's got a little, his foot's got a boot, extra boot uh, heel. So we just do that and it fits right into that piece. And we put him back here. So I tried to give you some distance so you can see head to toe what he looks like. I mean, you barely see it. These pieces right here, that's, where, that's what broke. I mean, they are so small. I can barely, that's one of them. The other one is right here so tiny and i'm sure a little dab of like gorilla glue and you wouldn't even notice it but you would definitely have to do it with some very fine tweezers so as i mean he's awesome i mean i you're gonna put him like this you're never gonna see it i'm just surprised that they broke that easily um diamond or diamond select and general giant probably should have wrapped that part in the arm um just as an extra precaution a little styrofoam there on his head get that off get that off that's making it worse oh god it's in his nostrils <laughs> gone um but it it's clearly there uh the tunic is nice very much in the rebel style you know things i always think it's funny that we have such great details here on this character but when the action figure and everything came out we gave him human shoes he does not have any kind of web footing or whatsoever he evolved to the point where his feet evolved into some sort of biped without having all this extra stuff where the rest of him was still very much a squid man. Very funny. Um, but that was, it was a puppet, you know, and it sat inside a thing and, you know, they didn't show the feet. Never thought they'd probably make a figure. And I also thought 
I think I remember, remember reading somewhere that they shot a lot of scenes with Crix and Nadine, the, the human that's talking, um, in, in case those scenes did not sell as well with Admiral Akbar inside the rebel uh, attack. So I know they had shot those scenes as well, just in case they would fall back on that. But they ended up using it. And of course, you know, we have the immortal line, said Admiral Akbar. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to put on the hand. And we have two hands. We have the little rod. Um, you know, this is like the little, um, you know, uh, battlefield, you know, uh, cattle prod that he has. And that goes right in there. And it's beautiful. It's seamless. It goes right there. It's going to draw attention away from the little two pieces that broke. Um, but what I did not know was, and I didn't turn them all around, he does come with, I believe this is a, this is, this is an E11 blaster. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the, the rebel pistol. That's styrofoam. Um, so it's kind of nice that you actually do get a little bit more of, of a battle Akbar if you wanted to it, which is funny because his action figure until they release him later in the Power of the Force, did not actually come with a weapon. He always came with that little, um, that little cattle prod. Um, and I know it's not really a cattle prod, but it's more like a battlefield thing. And I only say that because, oh, there he is! What, what, what? Yes, this is, I can't believe this is the one I picked to put in my case. I hope I have better ones, because this one's really, really faded. Um, but this is the original Kenner one, and I do have several of the re-releases. I do not have the Black Series one as of yet, um, but even then, look, his feet are really tiny. They're almost more like hooves than the human feet we have over here in the shoes. And I will put him there and pan down a little bit to kind of give you some scale of how big Admiral Akbar really is. I mean, that's an original Kenner figure. Now, I know he's standing on a platform, but then here is a six-inch uh, carbonized Biker Scout. I have a review of this guy up on the, on the on the YouTube page, by the way. It kind of gives you a sense of how big he is. And then I'm going to pan back here, leave them in the shot. No, oh, pan up. I'm going to zoom up and then give you from head to toe, Admiral Akbar is just shy of 12 and a half inches. So he's pretty big. Um, he's a nice piece. He's a good piece for the bookshelf. Great piece for the mantle. He's really going to pop. Um, I'm going to take off the hand here. And I want to bring this in because I just noticed this. Look at the details here on his his forehead. Um, great color, great definition. The neck is awesome, and we do see some more of this green shading here and there. This side's obviously not going to break, but it's just it gives the character. It's just not orange like this old school. He's just orange, but here we actually have, you know, it looks like living skin. It looks like tissue. Um, really nice job here. Um, by Gentle Giant, and outside of those little pieces breaking, and which you're never even going to notice, and that's just natural. And I could, I'm definitely going to fix it myself. I think this is a great addition to the collection. Um, this is Bob from Total Toy Recon saying I would probably do a nine out of ten, just because he broke as soon as I put him down. Like I'm just building him, and he broke. So we'll do nine out of ten. But if that wouldn't have happened, he'd be ten out of ten easy. So a great pickup. Oh, and I would probably always stick. With this one. That's that's Admiral Akbar right there. He doesn't need a gun. He's got a whole fleet at his uh, at his command. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that little like button in the bottom. Love you for doing so. Thank you.